Huh? Hey, hi guys. So uh, today we're gonna be making pasta dough. Uh, no mess, eh, somewhat no mess, and literally no waste. So you've all seen people have all those big pictures of grandma sitting down, putting the flour all over the table, making the well, putting the eggs in the middle, whisking and doing that. That's all great. But when you're at home or you want to do a lot of those pastas and you don't want to waste a lot of things, I'm going to show you kind of a foolproof way to make pasta using a food processor. So let's get started. So the ingredients you're going to need for this project, this is my recipe. And uh, like I said, I will, uh, I'll actually write out or type out the recipe inside the comments section below when you guys are ready or well, when we're done. So first off, we're going to start off with double lot or another name for that is dopio flour. Uh, it's, it is a, it's a flour that's milled from Durham. It, it has a less protein uh, structure to it, so it's not super, super hard to work with. Um, kind of like AP flour, where it's made from uh, hard and soft flours, but this is made from Durham. It's really fine. It makes really, really good uh, pasta that's still toothsome, but yet real silky. Did you say toothsome? Toothsome, or al dente. So, sorry, I was using the, 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 the English vernacular, if you will. Um, so we're going to start off with four cups of dopio flour. We're going to use four whole eggs and eight egg yolks. That's it. Oh, can you guys hear us okay? Are you sure? Yes or no. Yes or no. And also... Um, right before I set up to do this, I had dropped my can canister <laughs> and broke the handle off. So we're going to be doing this kind of, uh, we have some ingenuity to make this work today. So first off, we're going to take our four cups of flour and we're going to dump it right inside the food processor. And we're going to kind of sift it, aka we're going to kind of run this into the machine. Just a couple of pulses just to make sure that it's all nice and ready to go. All right. So now our flour is kind of sifted, ready to go. So now the first thing we're going to do is now we have the four cups of flour. We're going to actually put in the five eggs. Cracking eggs. I like how you crack it over here instead of over here so you don't have to dip out the shells. Yeah, and also it's going to crack better and you don't get egg yolk and crap all over your thing. Mm -hmm. It cracks better on a flat surface than a, a sharp surface. So now we got our five eggs. And next up, I had already uh, cracked the eggs and these are eight eggs and we're just going to take these... Uh, egg yolks out. You can, you've seen people separate them with the shell. It's okay. I'm going to use my hands today. Just pluck them right out because we save all our uh, egg whites to make, you know, meringues or cookies or cakes or different stuff like that. So these are just regular old, uh, large egg that you would find in any grocery store. All right. You're making a little mess down there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but it's not that messy. I said almost, almost messless. Don't worry, I'm going to wipe this up. i got to wash my hands right after I do this. So now we got everything in there. Right back. I'm going to wash my hands. Washing hands. Hear that sound? Also, you know, if you're watching this on a repeat or watching it later, uh, can you do me a favor? Just type the number one in the bottom. And if you have any other questions, if you watch this later, uh, just post them in the comment section and I will. Uh, or if they're watching live. Or if they're watching live, you can comment right now. We can talk to you live or I can get back to you afterwards. So it's no big deal. I'm ex I want you guys to try to get as much information as possible. So now we have the flour, we have five whole eggs, eight egg yolks. That's it. So notice there's not that much of a big mess. So now we're going to put this lid back on. 
a key part is you can't just like turn it on and walk away because then you'll break your machine. <laughs> so basically we're going to pulse this. So, and we're just going to keep on pulsing and pulsing. And it's going to start coming together. So what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for is actually it's gonna start looking like sawed up, like crumbs or or uh, two screws if you will. There's one yeah. comment saying you can't hear the camera guy, so you got to repeat what I say. Oh, I can't hear the camera guy. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> He's just here to help me along. He's not really saying too much today. But, yeah, you know, you're generally getting the idea. And I think we're actually there. So next, we gotta get a bowl. Bowl is good, and some saran wrap. Sorry, excuse me. So now, we're gonna turn this out into this bowl. So right now, it, it's, it's all broken up, nothing's crazy here. So now we don't have a whole bunch of flour that's just laying out all over the countertop or anything like that. And the ratio is good, so you can work with this. You don't have to flour the table, you don't have to do much after that. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna knead it a little bit and then form that nice pasta bowl or pasta ball of, or dough. Are you going to run this through the, the pasta machine later? Or? Yeah, so at this point, you know, you're going to want to let this sit for at least 30 minutes before you actually use this. Because what you want to do is have all that um, the moisture from the eggs and, and the flour to actually start to combine and kind of hydrate the the, the starch because right now it would just be kind of silky not really silky it would be kind of crumbly still or so literally now we have pasta dough when do you know if it's ready it's ready now the only thing is you want it to do is let it rest let it rest for about half hour you don't have to put it in the refrigerator uh, if you want you can uh wrap this and use this later on if you want to use it like four hours from now I would put it in the, the put it in your refrigerator but now I got my dough and I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes before I actually start making pasta so it will we'll make either like capellini or so you don't put anything else in it no salts no water it's just straight egg whites eggs egg, egg yolks just eggs egg yolks flour. The salt's going to come from when we, we cook off the pasta. We're going to have a nice big giant cauldron or boiling pot of water that's heavily salted. And when I'm being heavily salted, it's, it tastes like the sea, if anyone's been to the ocean. Not the Dead Sea, just a regular sea. Um, so as it cooks, you know, the starches are going to swell and they're going to start absorbing that, that water. So they're going to be absorbing the salt water. So then your pasta will be nice and seasoned. Not, over, not too salty either. So that's how we're actually going to season. But yeah, no olive oil, no salt, no anything. Just eggs and flour. That's all you really need. Right. So yeah, so that's how we. That's that's a quick way and uh, relatively very very not very messy and literally hardly any flour waste. There you got it. And that's how you can make awesome pasta in your food processor at home. Right so thanks a lot for watching. Can you share the recipe later. I'm going to write the recipe in the comment below um, as soon as we're done. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys.